Thanks for joining us. Uh, two children in South Carolina were diagnosed with a syndrome linked to COVID-19 over the weekend. Tonight, we are hearing from upstate doctors about what you need to know to protect your children. Our Scotty K has more. Multisystem inflammatory syndrome, or MIS-C, is a syndrome in children that doctors say is linked to coronavirus and comes with a list of symptoms. The best way to prevent it is to do the things you do to protect yourself and your kids from getting COVID-19. Parents being able to protect their children from acquiring COVID is the first line of defense. Two children in South Carolina have been diagnosed with Miss C and doctors with Prisma Health say it occurs during or after exposure to the virus. The child has had a COVID infection. The child has antibodies as having evidence of had a prior infection because we know that um, people can have COVID infection with minimal to no symptoms and that there's within a time frame of approximately four weeks this is presenting. She says children do not have to have pre-existing conditions and some things you should be on the lookout for are abdominal pain, neck pain, vomiting, low blood pressure, red lips and tongue, and fatigue, among a list of other symptoms. There's high fever. The fever persists for a period of time. There are rash. There are conjunctival injections, the red eyes. Um, the children often have gastrointestinal problems, diarrhea, other symptoms. There's often swelling of the hands and feet. While both children who were diagnosed with the syndrome in South Carolina are under the age of 10, it's unclear at this time if a certain group is more susceptible to the syndrome than others. As far as treatment goes, Dr. LaCroix says steroids have been a popular choice and says doctors will monitor children's hearts after they're diagnosed. Supporting them by their electrolytes, and um, supporting their blood pressures. The syndrome is considered very rare, and Dr. LaCroix says for the most part, children recover completely. But she says parents should still do what they can to protect their children, which means protecting themselves. Those are the simple measures, like being sure that they're using avoidance of, um, of big crowds, social distancing, uh, being able to mask, uh, hand hygiene, which is very key for children. If you believe your child has been exposed to COVID-19 and is showing any symptoms of Miss C, you're urged to seek medical attention right away. In the studio, Scotty K, 7 News.